What is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be trying to fix the gnarly shifting issue on this Evo 10. Before that tune comes up with Mark from Apex Powered, we're gonna be turning this thing up quite a bit, around 550-ish horsepower. I really, really wanted to get this shifting issue figured out on the Evo 10. So basically, I think the biggest issue right now is from third to fourth gear, has a gnarly lockout. My shifter linkage is really loose, or one of the bushings in there is really, really loose. So I picked up all the bushings from, what company did I go with? Torque Solutions, I believe it was. Torque Solutions, um, I picked up the pivot bushing, the under the hood bushings, and the base bushings as well. So today, we're gonna be installing them on the Evo 10. But before we do that, before we pull this car into the shop, my girlfriend Bobby cleaned this thing up for me. As you guys can see, it's winter out here in Spokane, and the car is absolutely disgusting, but now, it's clean so let's do a little video edit of the evo if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen the the evo before here you go check out this edit wow Wow, wow, wow. I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized there's so much wrong with that video edit you guys just saw. I deeply apologize, but enjoy the rest of the video. Well, that is the car we are gonna be working on today. Let's go ahead, pull this thing into the shop and get to work. I'm really hoping these bushings are going to fix this shifting issue. <laughs> Let's take a look at these bushings we will be installing on the car. And I also need to show you how floppy that shifter is as of right now before we put these bushings in. So here are the three bushings we are going to be installing. We have the base bushing kit, that is for the shifter itself inside the car. The gate selector, which that is inside the car as well. And then the shifter cable bushings, that is where the cables, the shifter cables themselves attach to the transmission. If you guys want to pick any of these up, I'll have each single one listed down in the description box below. These here are 08 to 12, that is 08 to 15, that's 08 to 9. My car is a 2008, so guys, if you have anything newer, make sure you get the proper ones, all right? Let's check out how floppy the shifter is. So you come in the car, right? This is neutral, seems all right. A little bit of play here, but you come down to fourth gear and Look how, look how bad that is. Side to side, tons of side to side play. Go up to first, or third I mean. Ton of side to side play. And then if we compare it to my other Evo, completely different ball game. I don't know if you guys can see all that well, but a tiny bit of side to side, it does not come back toward me whatsoever. Like not, not even a little bit. And driving this car, this thing just shifts through the gears like no other. This training is so nice in this thing. So with all that being said, I'm going to start with these two bushings here. Base bushing kit and the gate selector bushing. Let's go inside the car and get these guys swapped out. Remember, if you guys want to pick these up, they'll be linked down below. I don't know how good they work. I guess we'll see at the end of the video. The first thing you need to do is get access to the base of the shifter. We're going to need to pull off this right here, this panel here, this panel here, the shift knob, shift boot, and all that should come up on off there. I'm also gonna go ahead and remove this big center console piece. So there's two screws up here and two screws down there as well. Go ahead, pop those out and this whole center piece should come off. All right guys, next step is to pull out these four bolts. There's one there, one oh, kind of behind that carpet under there with the red on it, one there, one there. Those are the shifter base bolts. Pull those four bolts out and we'll be installing the shifter base bushing kit. These are made out of aluminum. I believe the ones in there are probably like hard plastic. Well guys, it appears that someone already did the shifter base bushing upgrade on this car because these are definitely not OEM. I'm gonna throw all this back together and then we can do the gate selector bushing. So guys, I kind of feel like a retard right now. I know I told you earlier the gate selector bushing is under the shifter console or like in the inside of the car and it's not. It's on the transmission. So let's go ahead and move on to the gate selector bushing and the shifter cable bushings. Like you guys saw, I already had the base, um, the shifter base bushings in there. So I can't really speak on whether or not those improved or not because I don't have stock ones to compare it to. Hope that makes sense. 
Let's move on to the more important stuff though, the shifter cable bushings and the gate selector bushing. I'm really hoping these two combined is gonna fix this issue once and for all. So go ahead, pop open the hood. I'm gonna have to remove a few things, probably my intake, this tube here, and hopefully that will be enough to get to all the bushings we need to get to. All right, boys, we got the intake off and this may be kind of difficult to show because it's kind of far down in there, but the rear cable attaches to a little to a little bracket, right? And on that bracket is the gate selector bushing. There's two bolts right down there, one there and one there, both 12 millimeters. Go ahead, pull those bolts off, pull that shifter cable off, that one the light is shining on right now, not that one there, that one there. Hopefully, hopefully this is making sense to you guys. So pull the two bolts, pull that shifter cable, and we should be able to get that gate selector bushing swapped out. Now, I don't know if this has been done as well because I do see a blue bushing in there, but check out how floppy this is, guys. That is a lot of freaking play in there. So I'm gonna get these swapped out real quick. There is a 12 millimeter nut on there. I'm guessing you pull that nut off and all the bushings will come out. Got that all assembled. I am still noticing some play in it. I think it might be a little bit better than before. So let's go ahead, throw this on the car. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is attach the cable to it first because that circlip is always kind of a pain in the butt to get on. So what I'm gonna do is install the new bushing onto the cable, attach the cable to this, get that clip through, and then get the whole assembly on the car. Are these two bushings the same? No, these two bushings are different. We gotta go figure out which one is for which. All right, so I didn't show it on camera, but these bushings pop right out of the cable. I just grabbed a flathead screwdriver, push that out, and what we're gonna be doing is replacing it with this aluminum bushing. So here's the difference. That's the factory one, here's the new one. As you can see, that's aluminum. So that is gonna slide through the end of the cable. And then this little circlip right here is gonna clip right through that bushing, just like that. And then on top is gonna go the washer. I think the washer will still fit. If the washer doesn't go on, um, we'll throw this little circlip on. It's really hard to show you guys. I wish I could show you better, but it's so far down in there that it's really hard to get to. But that's what that cable looks like without any bushing on it whatsoever. And I think I found another reason. If you guys are curious, if you've been following along with this build and my shifting issues, let me, sh let me show you guys something. This cable, this front cable, it's completely destroyed under this boot. I pulled this boot back and you guys are gonna be amazed. That whole top side of the cable is worn out. So that's why this, this cable should not be floppy like that. It should be pretty stiff like this one back there. So I gotta try to either Number one, kind of jimmy rig that back together and hopefully it holds. Or number two, just replace that cable. But for now, let's throw this bushing in and see what happens. All right, the bushing is on. Grab our circlip and put it through with no washer because the washer doesn't fit. All right, we got both bushings on. Time to grab this guy right here, this whole assembly, and get this on the car using this tiny little clip that they provided with the Torque Solutions kit. So this little clip right here, is gonna just clip over the back side, just like that, guys. Pretty simple to do, pretty straightforward. Alrighty, all good to go there. As you can see right here as well, I got a cute little hose clamp on there, so hopefully that holds the shifter in place. Let's head inside, and I'm guessing the shifter is gonna be way tighter, just based off the fact that we kind of fixed that cable. Oh yeah, it doesn't come back toward me at all. There still is some side-to-side -side play, which it looks like Honestly, I don't know how that would be fixed. I don't know. I don't know if that's even a big issue. Side to side, what would cause side to side? Maybe my whole freaking plastic thing is just worn out. But the thing I'm noticing the most, it does not come back toward me whatsoever. I'm gonna throw this thing back together. Let's go on a little drive and see what happens. I got my head mount on so you guys can get the very first reaction, first impressions of how everything feels. Right, out of, right off the bat, I noticed pulling out of the shop, it feels more connected, I guess you could say. That is way, it's way different. Let's go drive. Freaking nasty road. Yeah, like I said earlier, it feels a lot more connected. 
there is one more thing I'm gonna do regardless, no matter what. Um, it's for preventative maintenance and it could help this issue as well, is the Magnus master cylinder upgrade. I'll explain it more in that video, but it should help this issue out with shifting as well. still feel that lockout regardless and it feels like it honestly feels like my clutch isn't engaged all the way that's that's literally the best way to explain it my shifter does feel way better um i wish that there wasn't so much side to side free play which may just be in the shifter cage itself but i would say overall i feel it feels a lot more connected Ditching all those rubber and plastic bushings and going with aluminum bushings, it feels it feels pretty clean. Other things I have done to solve this issue is the blocks, weighted shift knob, and I have done the red line cocktail in the training as well. Both those helped out. And I think the very last thing to do would be that master cylinder upgrade. Let's do another third to fourth. Honestly, I feel, yeah, it just feels like it catches. Even if I'm shifting early and not at 8,000 RPM, where everything's spinning so fast, I can still feel it catch a little bit going into fourth gear. And I think that's just because my clutch isn't engaging as much as it could be. If anyone has any ideas as to why I have so much free play, I don't know if I just need to buy a replacement shifter cage. Uh, either way, drop a comment down below because I have replaced every single bushing in this car related to the shifter. Overall, I think the bushings helped out quite a bit, but it's still not perfect. So I think that Magnus up, uh, Master Cylinder upgrade is gonna completely solve the issue. I would install it today, but I haven't got it in the mail yet. It comes in tomorrow. So expect to see the next video, hopefully fixing this issue once and for all, like in a day or two. All three of the bushing sets that you guys need to do this mod to your own car will be linked down below. Before I end this video out, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Like I would never in a million years guess that I would be at the level I am at today on YouTube. And it could not be done without the help and support of every single one of you guys watching this channel, that I subscribe to the channel, that shares the videos. Um, it's absolutely insane that we're almost at 100K now and I cannot wait to see what 2019 brings us. I have big goals, I have big dreams. <sighs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I'm so glad I started this channel. I'm so glad I started this journey. It was a few years ago, I remember always wanting to do YouTube and I was always so scared and like nervous about what other people would think like when I started a channel and it was so freaking funny. It's so funny looking back now and even going back and watching old videos, they're not good, they're terrible, but I think everyone's videos starting out are not the best. So if guys, if you have any dreams or any aspirations whatsoever, big goals, I know everyone has goals, um, don't let the fear of other people's opinions stop you from from what you want to freaking do in your life because you can do great things like if you just put all the fear aside block it out chase your dreams move forward every single day and not worry about the opinion of others that mean absolutely nothing to what you're doing in your life you can do crazy things and at the end of the day honestly if people are going to talk shit and and not support you they're probably not your true friends anyway so it doesn't it doesn't really matter if you have any dreams or big goals whether whether that is starting a youtube channel whether that's doing anything it could be anything um just start don't worry about what people think don't worry about what people are going to say just start start today if i get one person to start today on their journey no matter what it is that would make me the happiest man alive thank you guys so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one we're out